What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup for the Everyone Is Here tournament. So, uh, again, if you haven't seen it, I'll go over the rules in just a second, throw them up on screen, but it's a pretty simple process. 100 characters are thrown into this tournament format thing, and then each day on the channel, except for Sundays, I upload one matchup from the tournament, try to make a case why either of the two characters in the match for the day might make, you know, sense for Smash DLC, and then, uh, you know, we vote down in the comments. So, uh, yeah, let me throw the rules up on screen for you guys here. And rule number one, keep in mind that this is always for fun. And the reason that's important, because we do have characters that are assist trophies, spirits, me costumes, characters that are disconfirmed, whatever. It's all for fun. If you like a character and you would like to see them actually as a playable character in Smash Bros, you're more than welcome to drop a vote for them. Pretty simple. Uh, another thing... You only get one vote per person. How do you vote? Simple. Down in the comments, you type who your vote is for between the two characters that are in the match for the day. So, as an example, today's matchup is Elma from Xenoblade franchise taking on King Boo from the Mario franchise, we'll say? Yeah. So you vote for one of them down in the comments by simply typing that character's name. If you happen to like both the characters for the day, or if you can't make up your mind, you are allowed to vote for both. Totally fine. But remember, only one vote per person. Rest of the rules, double elimination tournament, meaning character has to lose twice before being officially eliminated. Once we get to the results for each matchup, you know, to figure out who wins and who loses, if we happen to have a tie, I'm just going to flip a coin on camera. It's the fairest way to break a tie. And then each matchup, voting-wise, only lasts for one week. So, uh, as an example, today's Friday means we'll get the results of today's matchup next Friday. Get it one week. Pretty simple stuff. So let's get to the results for the day and uh, the matchup as well. Alright, so we back and we have uh, the results from a winner's bracket matchup. So whoever loses, still in the tournament, they still good. So uh, the results we're going over from last week was uh, the matchup of Kamek taking on Pea Shooter. And it was fairly close, right? Wasn't it? Uh, and uh, not not entirely, but um, yeah, um, I, I guess I don't really have a story. Everybody just voted straightforward. It's pretty much just kind of said the character's name they're voting for. Uh, but yeah, Kamek ended up winning this one. 43 votes to just 26 votes for Pea Shooter. So congrats, Kamek, moving on a little farther into the winner's bracket. Again, Pea Shooter's still alive in the tournament. Just drops to the loser bracket is also all good there. If you're a Pea Shooter, Plants vs. Zombies fan. All right, we good. But uh, let's move to the matchup for the day now. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, it is Elma from the Xenoblade franchise. Should be somewhat of an interesting character to talk about. And her opponent, King Boo from the Mario series. And it's a character that I personally really like for multiple reasons. I'll get into that in just a second. So let me start off with Elma. Elma, look, look let's start Xenoblade, right? Um... A, for a lot of people, Xenoblade, uh, it was like, their, their first big experience with the Xeno franchise overall was Xenoblade for the Wii, uh, not, not the Wii U, for the Wii, Xenoblade Chronicles, and, no, wait, which one was that? I, for, I, I already forget. I mix up the names all the time, but the one with Shulk on the Wii did tremendous overseas, and then everybody's like, we need it here in the States, and uh, we just need it import. Everybody wanted to play it, and I remember when the game first came over here, uh, I, know, I know this doesn't have too much to do with Elma, I'm just talking the series in general, when the game finally got released kind of worldwide, there were so, like, few copies. I remember walking into my game store, and they're like, yes, we have the new game, people are already lining up to buy it, or uh, to pre-order it, and the pre-orders were at like 80, 90 bucks. They were selling like hotcakes. You know, stores around me were only getting like three, four copies. So, like, people wanted to play the game. People wanted to play the franchise. It did tremendously well, which ended up leading to Shulk getting into the game. So, moving on, trying to get to my point here for Elma. Now, Elma, again, Xenoblade is a very. I think it's, it's a big franchise for Nintendo, and it's. I, th I think it's on the rise as well. It's it's a good franchise. Great characters in it. A um, lot of lot of fan favorite characters as well. Shulk was a big time fan favorite. Got into Smash Bros. Then Smash Ultimate happens, and we started speculating. All right, is Xenoblade getting another franchise or <laughs> another franchise? Are they getting another playable character? Elma was uh, one of the front runners, of course. Rex and or Pyra and or Mithra uh, were also all considered for, you know, mock rosters and everybody's predictions. 
on the lead-up to Smash Ultimate, which was fair enough. Elma being a uh, one of the more likable characters in the franchise would be another female. Again, such a big point for Smash Bros. Ultimate, especially the DLC. We still have zero, zero standalone female characters. Now, I don't, I don't know what like the criteria is. Obviously, I don't think anybody really does because Sakurai keeps dropping some random quote at us, and it's just like, oh, that's really awesome for DLC. So. We don't know if he looks at specific third parties. We don't even know if first parties were even considered. We don't know if male or female or gender had anything to do with it. But like like us as fans, we're going to break down everything for Smash Bros, right? We're going to say, all right, it's missing this sort of stuff. It's missing this and this. And, you know, females being on DLC and overall on the roster are always a point of uh, argument, a point of interest amongst the community. It's something that... Could be added upon greatly, I, I'd say. I'm not going to say the next 10 characters all have to be female, but, like, let's go here, you know. It's it's something that I think a lot of the fan base is really for, uh, another inclusion for. I, I'm in the boat as well. Elmo would be a fun character to me, and yes, like, the only thing I, I take a little tiny bit of issue with is when, uh, when Sakurai just said the other day that a character has to be fun to play as not just recognizable that's so open to interpretation like who's the one that's deciding the character's got to be fun like any single character can be fun to anybody now does that mean the character would have to be viewed as fun by a vast majority of people i don't know so the quote while i i, I get what what he's trying to say but it's at the same time it's not saying much like I could say Elma uh, would be a very fun character to play as. Somebody in the comments would be like, nah, I find her extremely bland and no thank you. So, I mean, take that comment how you will. But I do think Elma would be a nice addition. I do think Xenoblade does deserve a second rep on the roster. I think, per personally, I would like to see the combination of Rex and Pyra as, uh, as a duo in Smash Bros. Before I'd see Elma. But that's just my preference, so I don't know. Maybe we'll see what uh, um, Elma fans show up and see how many votes she gets. But the character that I'm really liking in this one, <laughs> I always like King Boo. I always say this. Um, both these characters in the matchup both represent categories that I truly feel need to be added upon. So Elmo for females, King Boo for villains. That's my number one thing. I always say that because I. <laughs> that's just what I feel. King Boo. I really feel it would be a fun fighter. Uh, one, like a category that I want to see kind of just used in Smash Bros. Is a, is a big character that's a lightweight. We don't have anything like that. All the big characters are heavy characters. Which is fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I'm saying King Boo would be great. He'd be a bigger character. Bigger hitbox and everything. But he's kind of a... I mean, he's a ghost. So can you really hit a ghost? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You, you'd be able to knock him around a bit. But I, I feel like he should be kind of a lightweight. You know, that glass cannon. I always bring that up. But, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Kind of a glass cannon. You hit hard, but you can't get hit too hard. Otherwise, you're going to go flying, right? Um, but King Boo... I mean, look, Luigi's Mansion 3 just came out. Was it... La yeah, last week, right? What's the date? Yeah, last week. Um... Played a big role in that. No spoilers, but uh, he's in the game. Um, so it, it's always a villain. It's always a Mario character that I feel like gets overlooked. It's not somebody that people really can see. <laughs> Ghost joke. But um, it, it's like, okay, any new Smash game, odds are we're going to get a new Mario character, right? King Boo is like, I, I, pers I really, I hardly see King Boo in the discussion. Yeah, you might get the... The one in, like, 10,000 people that will be like, hey, what about King Boo? And then you, you might have, like, a two-second conversation, like, oh, King Boo would be great, and then move on to the next character. King Boo would be such a great character. He's iconic. He's a boss. He's a villain. He's a name that gets recognized, even though that doesn't have to be part of the criteria to be in Smash Bros. But I'm just saying, it does help sales. It would. If you know who the character is you're more likely to buy them, I'd say. If you Obviously, if you know the character and you like them, you're going to be more inclined to buy them. Or if maybe you're casual and you're just kind of like, all right, we'll see what the next character is. 
okay, you know what? I, I've heard of the character. Sure, I'll, I might take a chance and buy him. So I think that just helps maybe business-wise. And plus, both characters first party. Nintendo gets all the profits. Business, business, business. Money speaks to companies, obviously. Um, yeah, King Boo might be a spirit. But again, who cares? I love King Boo. I, I, I really do. <laughs> I've got bars. No, I don't. Shut up. Um... Look, um, I, I'm not I'm not messing around. King Boo does have my vote in this one. Uh, he's probably if I if I had to break it down, um, I think I'd only I think I'd probably want three more Mario characters in total from the entire Mario series. Uh, King Boo's probably number two that I would love to see on the roster, but uh, yeah, and then because Elma's not the number one character I want to see even from her own series, so. Yeah, she's a bit farther down for me, but uh, yeah, Elma, okay. King Boo got my vote in this one, so let me know who you guys are voting for down in the comment section. Remember, one vote per person. So let's do a little sneak peek for tomorrow, and tomorrow we have we have a doozy of a matchup. <laughs> we got a doozy. Oh, man. Tomorrow's matchup, Lara Croft <laughs> from Tomb Raider. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that, but she's taken on... Master Chief from Halo. Those are two gaming legends right there. I think that'll be a great matchup. That'll be a great matchup. Can't wait to see how that one plays out. But that's the uh, that's the match for tomorrow. And then the results for tomorrow are going to be... Ah! The results are going to be for Shantae, who is taking on Chun-Li. We'll see who gets that W. And ultimately who gets the L. But that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. And hopefully we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.